three biggest mistakes when practicing singing at home. Anyway with you, I'm by your side. In this video, I'll tell you what mistakes you're probably making and why you're not progressing in your vocal technique learning. I'll be stuck to you like ooh, babe. Ooh. You could even harm yourself, leading to hoarseness or loss of voice. I'll share tips that will help you learn to sing better. Welcome to my channel for singing lessons from scratch. I'm Natalia Bliss, a singer, pianist and vocal technique teacher. If you enjoy my channel and want to support me, please subscribe, activate the notification bell so you don't miss my new videos and follow me on Instagram at bliss underscore Natalia. Mistake number one. Jumping straight into singing songs without warming up your voice first. This is a very serious mistake. Not only because your voice will sound much worse without warming it up, but also because you could even harm yourself. My room is a cheese pot. Call me Mr. Flintstone. Uh, call me Mr. Call me. Remember that your vocal cords are two very small and delicate membranes. When you sing, several muscles surrounding the vocal cords are also involved. Especially when you have to sing high phrases or notes. You need to do vocal warm-up exercises to avoid injury and to prevent losing your voice after singing just two songs. All professional singers practice vocal warm-ups before singing, so I recommend you dedicate at least 15 to 20 minutes to vocal warm-up exercises. This routine should include breathing exercises such as lip trills and passaggio exercises to smoothly transition from chest voice to head voice without straining your throat. Also, include some musical scales. You'll see that after 15 or 20 minutes of vocal warm-up, your voice will sound much clearer and more projected, and you'll find it easier to reach high notes. If you want more vocal warm-up exercises, I recommend checking out my free playlist Best Vocal Warm-Up, which I'll link here. Mistake number two is trying to sing notes and musical phrases that are outside your natural vocal range and straining your voice to hit them. My home, sweet home. This often happens to beginners who don't know what voice type they have, whether they are a baritone, mezzo-soprano or soprano or who think that it doesn't matter. It's very important. Voices are classified by pitch, both in male and female voices. Just as there are men with very deep voices and very high voices, there are women with very deep voices, contraltos, and very high voices, sopranos. If you still don't know your vocal range, I recommend taking my free voice type test. You can find it here in the corner and also in the description of this video. For example, imagine the song Contigo en la distancia. Es que te has convertido en parte de mi alma. Now imagine this song is much higher than your natural vocal range. You would have to strain your voice. Es que te has convertido. And it would be a disaster. The same thing would happen if you tried to sing this song in a very low pitch that doesn't suit your voice es type. Que te has convertido. Not only would the song lose its meaning in that key, 
But if you constantly strain your throat, trying to reach those high notes, you could experience vocal fatigue, hoarseness or even loss of voice. In the long term, this could lead to vocal injuries or nodules. So, it's very important to choose songs that are appropriate for your voice. Mistake number three is using shallow breathing. If you breathe clavicularly, raising your shoulders and through your mouth, especially while singing, you are creating more tension in your throat. You'll run out of breath, feel more tired quickly and might even hyperventilate, which could make you feel dizzy. Most importantly, this type of breathing creates unnecessary tension. Learn to breathe using custodiophragmatic breathing. It's very important. What's the key? You shouldn't lift your chest when you breathe. Don't do this. Your chest should stay open and still while your ribs should move as you inhale. If you find it difficult to expand your ribs at first, try inflating your abdomen as a starting point. It's better than lifting your chest. You don't need to spend a lot of time inhaling. Don't do this. Your breathing should be short and deep. You'll see that once you get used to this way of breathing, you'll find it much easier to sustain long phrases and reach high notes. On the other hand, breathing clavicularly would leave you out of breath quickly, and it would be much harder to maintain such a projected voice. If you're a beginner and don't know where to start, I recommend checking out my free playlist for beginners. I'll link it here in the corner. As a bonus, I'm going to give you three small tips to help you learn to sing better at home. First, stay well hydrated. Drink water while you're singing. The water shouldn't be too hot or cold. It should be at room temperature. Second, give your voice rest between sessions. You don't need to sing for five or six hours straight. That's not good. It's enough to practice once a day. Do 20 minutes of vocal warm-up and then you can sing your song repertoire for 30 minutes to an hour. Try to give your voice at least one day of rest during the week. Make sure to record your voice from time to time so you can notice all the mistakes you need to correct. It's my English channel. You also have my channel available in Spanish. Natalia Bliss, Clases de Canto desde cero. I hope you enjoyed my video. Keep practicing, keep improving your vocal technique, and as always, I wish you to enjoy the music and enjoy your voice. Kisses!